Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to use a Postman application to call uh, AWS Exposed APIs. In this case, we are going to call APIs that are exposed by IoT Core services. And the idea will be similar for other AWS services as well like uh, EC2 or uh, API Gateway. All right. So what we will be doing in this video, we will be using this uh, API that is exposed by AWS to get things shadow and to update things shadow, delete things shadow and list named shadow. So these are the four operations that are exposed by AWS for performing the API operations using the HTTP protocol and we will be making use of that. All right. So the first one is the get things shadow. So this get things shadow basically gets a uh, the shadow document you will make a http get call using this endpoint and you will be getting a 200 success with uh, the shadow document so let's have a look at the shadow document first of all and this is my aws account and uh, i have this uh, thing created that is sample thing one and in this thing we have a shadow document that is shadow one name of the shadow document is shadow one and if you go inside this one this is the shadow document that we want to retrieve if you are using a client application you can very well go ahead and uh, use the aws sdks for getting the shadow document but here we are using the get http method to call this uh, api to get the shadow document so let's copy this endpoint and we'll go to our postman you can create a new request just in the url type this remove all the unnecessary things from here okay now uh, here endpoint uh, is required if you are calling iot service uh, endpoint will be required so this endpoint you can get it uh, either from uh, the iot core itself uh, you can go to the settings and your endpoint will be listed here all right so this is with extension ats and you can also get the endpoint by using a cli uh, this is the command aws iot describe endpoint this is without uh, the extension ats both will work no need to worry if you either you can use with ATS or without ATS both will work in the place of endpoint we can give the uh, URL that we have specified all right now uh, the thing name we have to give the thing name in my case is sample thing one And the shadow name is shadow one. All right, and we are done with the URL part. It's a get call, so body will not be required. If you send the request now, you will be getting a 403 that is a forbidden. All right, because we have not specified anything with the account right the authorization we have not given so in this case we have to select the authorization as aws signature and in here you have to give the access key and the secret key all right so from where you will get this access key and the secret key that you can get it from uh, aws itself if you don't have you can create one you have to go to your uh, account and you have to click on this security credentials and in this one you will see access key if it is already there if it is not there you can very well go ahead and create one access key so i have two access key here i am using the uh, second one when you cre create it for the first time you will have option to see the access key as well as the secret key if you uh, miss to capture the secret key then you will have to delete it and create one new uh, access key for it all right so we are using the same uh, access key and the secret key 
Don't use mine because I will be deactivating this after this video. You also have to go to the advanced settings and uh, uh, you have to give the AWS region where your uh, AWS IoT things are available. In this case, uh, my region is Mumbai that is AP South 1. If you don't give the reason correctly, you might get uh, data not found. The service name you have to give IoT data without any space or small letters. In case you have other services like uh, API Gateway, you can your service name will be different. It will be Execute API or for EC2 it will be different. For uh, DB services it will be different, right? Session token uh, is not required. You can leave it blank. And now when you send the request, you will get a 200 response here. And uh, if you come down, you will see that the same uh, reported state that was there in the device shadow, the same thing we have got it. All right. And uh, you also note that we have not given any specific header. Uh, it's all auto generated headers. Uh, we have not generated anything manually. All right. We have only given the headers and the uh, param that was uh, this name. We have successfully called a REST API that was exposed by AWS using Postman. Now there are other uh, APIs that are exposed like update things shadow. It is using the same thing. It's a post API call. This endpoint will be same. The thing name you have to give and the shadow name and the request body you have to give uh, the state of the document. So you have to select the method as a post and uh, in the body you have to give a JSON body and you will be either giving this uh, inside this state you will be giving either this desired state or the reported state. You don't have to give the metadata and whatever the desired value you want to change you can keep it here. Keep it in the body parameter and you just have to send it. And if you send it your version of the shadow will be updated. It will not take much time. Let's try it once. Just copy the same URL. It's a post call. We have to give the thing name and the shadow name same to same as it is. Only we have to change is the authorization. AWS signature, it will be same. And in the body, we have to give it a JSON body, right? So we'll be taking the response that came in here and we will be changing the desired state let's copy this and we'll keep it here let's close all the brackets all right so we are sending a desired state and in this desired state i am changing few other parameters let me send something else in this parameter hello from technotab and just send it and you can see that the status code is 200 and we have got the desired state with the metadata having the timestamp when it was changed let's go to the device shadow and let's see what happened here we can see that hello from technotab is updated and you can also check the timings and the version is also updated so uh, we have successfully updated the device shadow as well all right likewise you can perform the delete shadow operation and you can also perform the list named shadow operation so these all things you can perform using the sdk as well but if you just want to expose an api for some automation purpose you can just uh, use this uh, quick api calls and use that in your application to get all the required details i hope this gives you some idea on how to make a call to the aws apis using postman so if you have learned something from this video please like it and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching see you in the next video